So this video is still on revisions for real analysis and we get directly into two propositions um, that follow from the previous video. Proposition 1, any non-empty subset of the reals which is bounded above has a list upper bound. So if you have a, a set S and this set is, uh, is bounded above, so let us say that it is bounded here, it will have a lot of x1, x2, um, it will have a lot of um, upper bounds but there will be one, let us call it u, that is the list upper bound. I will provide a proof for this later. Okay. Now I'm going to more or less be quick over these propositions, but I'll get I'll get back and, and prove all this in detail. Another proposition. If an unempty subset of S an unempty subset S of the reals is bounded below so here we you had S, a subset of the real that was bounded above, and for instance here you have a S, so this is S, a subset of the reals, right? This is a subset of the reals that is bounded below. Let us say this is the point where this set is bounded. Okay. Uh, L1, L2, lower 1, lower 2, uh, lower 3, they will all be um, lower bounds, but there will be one that will be the greatest lower bound. So L will be greater than L1, L2, L3. Okay. The proof for this one is exactly the same as the proof for this one. You just make a set and you pick the elements with a minus sign. Okay, it's very easy. I will get into that in another video. Okay, and we get into this very important proposition. Uh, the set of the natural numbers or the positive integers, okay, uh, not counting zero here, okay. The set of natural numbers is not bounded above. This looks uh, very simple to, to understand, but as usually as usually the, the simplest things in mathematics sometimes are the harder to prove. Well, this one is not very hard to prove. Of course, that if you pick the, the natural numbers, of course, you will never have a. Uh, it, this is not bounded above. Yeah, th there is no element here that will be greater than all the elements in this set. Okay, but let us prove it. So we are going to prove this using contradiction. Let us say that the, the set of the natural numbers is bounded above. So if the natural, if the natural numbers, okay, we, we, this is a proof by contradiction, okay? Okay, S suppose for contradiction that the naturals, the natural numbers are bounded above. So if the natural numbers are bounded above, by the completeness property, there is a U that will be the supremum of the natural numbers. Okay, so there will be a list upper bound or a supremum for the natural number. Okay, but if I pick any element in the naturals, N in the natural numbers, the next number, N plus 1, we 
will also be a natural number. OK, but since n is bounded above and it has a supremum, so n plus 1 has to be smaller than the supremum, right? OK, and if, if n plus 1 is less than the supremum, then this implies that n will be smaller than u minus 1. So any element n in the natural numbers will be smaller than u minus 1 for any n in the naturals. OK, but this is a contradiction, because then, if that is true, u minus 1 would be another supremum. So we will have a supremum 1, a supremum 1, that is u, and here we would have a supremum 2. OK, because u minus, minus 1 is an upper bound for the natural. But this contradicts the, the fact that u is the least one. OK, so uh, it is um, the proposition is proved because this contradiction shows that the natural numbers cannot be bounded above. So it just proved that the set of natural numbers, the set of natural numbers is not bounded above. Uh, it's very simple. You use contradiction. So you assume that the natural numbers are bounded above. Use the completeness property. So there will be a supremum. OK. And of course, if this is the, 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 the list of the greatest elements, it will be uh, unique for sure. OK very easy to prove too and you pick an arbitrary natural number you, you, you pick the next number n plus one and that next number should be smaller than the supremum but that implies that any natural number will be smaller than u minus one but that would make this a new supremum and that's a contradiction that's a contradiction right that's a contradiction. We cannot have one and two supremums. Okay, so this proves the theorem. Okay, so the set of the natural numbers is not bounded above.